Hey, what's going on? It's Jens and welcome on my YouTube channel, Happy Mushrooms. Today we're going to talk about sterilization, especially pressure cooker or autoclaves. When I started growing mushrooms, I used this pretty cheap 30 euro 7 liter pressure cooker. And it was okay, but I had some contaminations from time to time, so I was not sure if this was really enough. So I had to do some research to upgrade this pressure cooker to get a bigger one, which is able to cook at higher temperatures, basically what an autoclave does. And then I have found this product, and that is actually what this video is all about. Is this the perfect choice when you start growing mushrooms? I mean, the size and the volume is pretty good. The price is pretty cheap for a pressure cooker of this size. So is this the autoclave or your choice or is it even scam? That's what the video is all about. Let's go. Okay. In the beginning, I actually wanted always an all-American pressure cooker, which is of high quality. But the shipping to Germany is 200 euros, so an all-American pressure cooker is not really a choice. If the delivery to your country is cheaper, I really do recommend to have a look on those pressure cookers. If you're in Europe like me, the shipping cost is so high that we have to look for alternatives. This is a product of China and what made it so interesting is that the delivery was free. Now let's take a close look on the specs on the quality and how this is actually working. It does have an included heating element, which is pretty strong with 2000 watts. So the sterilization temperature is reached pretty fast, which is definitely a plus. But what then? When the temperature is reached, it does not stop. There is no control at all. It keeps heating until the pressure relief valves release all the hot air. And that is the first really big downside of this product because there's no control at all. I mean, releasing air over hours is not really an option, right? So I had to look for a solution by myself. And that is using a timer like this. So here we can control the time the power is turned on and off. So when using the setup like this, I had to use three minutes power on, three minutes power off. So I could save 50% of energy, which is about 30 to 40 cent per use. And here's one more tip for you. I have bought some salting film to isolate the pressure cooker. With this additional isolation, I could save about 80 to 90% of energy. That means that I turn on the power for one minute and then turn off for five and six minutes. And with the isolation, it just takes nine minutes until the sterilization temperature of 121 degree at 15 PSI is reached. I have spent 180 euro for the pressure cooker and an additional 10 euro for the timer. So this could be a good solution for under 200 euro. At the moment, it costs about 220 euros, so the price went up a little. But now we have to talk about the seller of this product because those sellers are located in China. And that is actually a really big problem because there is no support. I thought this is actually no problem because I could pay with PayPal and normally PayPal solves all my issues. But here it was a little bit more complicated. After a couple uses, the pressure gauge started leaking. That was not a big issue because it still reached 121 degree and it worked. A couple of weeks later, the lid also started leaking. And then I needed to contact the seller because obviously this was of low build quality and I wanted to replace or repair it somehow. And the seller told me that I should use a hammer and slam the lid until it stopped leaking. And I was like, is that a joke? I, I don't. Yeah, it was ridiculous. So I told him that I want him to send repair parts or replace it. And then he just sent links where I could buy repair parts. But he was not willing to pay for the repair or the spare parts. So I had to contact PayPal. And after about six weeks of writing with the seller and PayPal, the case was closed with the solution that I have to send the broken autoclave back to the seller. And that's what made me really upset because I should pay 60 euro for a broken product to send back to China where they put it into the garbage. In the meantime, the electrical parts also broke. The heating did not work and it was leaking. It was a total disaster. Maybe I will throw it away. Maybe I try to repair it by myself. Well, I actually will never buy anything like this from China again because they're, yeah, the support is horrible. And then you have to pay for the shipping back to China. In the beginning, I just thought that maybe I just got one of those bad products, but it was leaking 
at this position, then the lid started leaking, then eventually the electrics broke. So I really do not recommend to buy anything from China, especially not with electrics. It looked promising, it worked great in the beginning, but at the end I had to replace this autoclave by this one over there. So I got another upgrade. This one here works pretty good. I have it for like yeah, also two or three months. So I will keep using this and review it in one of the future videos. So if you enjoyed the video and the review about the autoclave from China and the upcoming video about this higher quality version, I really appreciate it if you subscribe to not miss any future videos. On this channel you can find a lot of helpful information when you try to grow mushrooms at home and also some nice time lapse of mushrooms growing. Thanks for watching, have a good day and hopefully see you in the next.